play. Good evening, Tigers, and welcome to Seguin High School in this regional quarterfinal matchup between the Tigers of Dripping Springs and Dum 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 <laughs> Alamo Heights. The Mules of Alamo Heights. The Mules of Alamo Heights. So the last time these two teams met, uh, it was a very contentious, very heated battle. And Alamo Heights came out on top on a five-set barn burner of three hours and 10 minutes. Three hours and 10 minutes. So we have a problem tonight with, some, with one of our mics. And so you're going to hear me a lot tonight. Uh, Jason Certain is still sitting next to me. Uh, we're going to try to put the mic in between the middle of us so that we can uh, communicate. But um, yeah, it's going to be go time right now. Season's on the line for both of these teams. Um, great crowd in attendance for the Tigers. Great crowd in attendance for Alamo Heights. And as Jason Certain already said, these are the matches you live for. This is what it's all about. All the practice, all the club. Pack gym, you don't get this experience in club. Parents are nervous. Looking for a great match tonight. So a couple of parents have already come up and said that they're very, very nervous about this. And as a parent myself, I have to agree. Um, but again, it's, you know, it's do or die. It's all go, no quit. We'll see what happens. We're getting ready for introductions here at Seguin High School. What makes this match extra special, as Paige said, these are district foes. We played them twice this year. Very familiar with each other, meeting in the area semifinals. What is this? Area this, is the, this is the regional quarterfinal. So there's 32 teams currently left in District 5A, and after tonight, there will only be 16. Number one, Ella Baldwin. Number two, Presley Alford. Number three, Clara Martin. Number four, Natalie Arnold. Number five, Carly Sledge. Number six, Ryan Allison. Number seven, Taylor Chomlin. Number eight, Maddie Mad Dog Lund. Number nine, Noel Domini. Number ten, Abby Vanoy. Number eleven, Captain Mackenzie Plante. Number twelve, Avery Dement. Number thirteen, Ryan Frontera. Number fourteen, Reagan Helberg. Number 16, Riley Certain. Number 17, Abby Wingren. Number 18, Ava Williamson. One nine, A B Crowder. Number 20, Ambria Rupp. Number 21, Emma Wagner. And number 22, Greer Gilbreth. So we've got two two players um, that are near and dear to our hearts. We've got number 13, Ryan Frontera, and number 16, Riley Certain. Riley Certain. One of them at the end of her high school career, the other one just started. A freshman and a senior. And now we have the Alamo Heights Mules being introduced. So 
we have the cheerleaders for both teams in the house. Alamo Heights actually has the floor, and our cheerleaders are in the stands. from Dripping Springs will be singing our national anthem. So just got a message from a couple of viewers at home, Leslie Beyer, who's chiming in from Houston, Texas, said that was a great national anthem. Shout out to Larry and Teresa Certain in Denison, Texas, watching their granddaughter play. So again, just to remind everybody that we only have one mic tonight. And so Jason and I took some Listerine, brushed our teeth, because we're going to be really close to each other tonight, sharing the microphone. All right, we have starters on the floor for Dripping Springs. It's a crew we've seen for quite a long time. I don't know about this officiating crew. So I do not know who the line judge is, except that he's like eight feet away from the line. I wish he'd like go on the actual line. Um, the down ref is pretty used, to, pretty um, well known in the San Antonio chapter. Uh, the down ref on the Tiger side is also well known in the San Antonio chapter. I do not know the up ref. Here we go. Alamo Heights will have first serve. So on the starters for the Tigers, Ava Williamson, Carly Sledge, Natalie Arnold, Ryan Frontera, Taylor Chomlin, and Mackenzie Plante. This ball is out of system. It'll be going outside to Natalie Arnold. Handled by the Alamo Heights and over. Natalie Arnold. She'll make a hitting error on an overset ball and instead of just passing it, got a little too excited, point Alamo Heights lack of focus early on in this big match. Yeah, that ball was pretty off the net. Uh, it's a hard ball to hit. This ball is going to be handled by Ava Williamson. It's going to be bump set back to Carly Sledge. That'll go right in the corner. Point Tigers. Carly Sledge with a great in control swing right there in the back corner. So Chuck Liotto, when he was here, he would call that the coffin corner. Carly Sledge to serve. 
This ball is in system. It's going to go to the middle. Block. Handled. Over. Passed up. Ryan Frontera is going to try to get the ball. They're going to signal over. An overset ball. Point Tigers. Griffin Springs got a little lucky there. They thought that ball was down. They did. So they the, the ball was, I, I thought it was going to be down too, but that just shows you how scrappy this Alamo Heights defense is. Carly Sledge back to score. Back to serve. Tigers with a small lead of two to one. This ball is going to be over and down. Point Tigers. Alamo Heights passing looks a little nervous right now. So it's pretty normal. Everybody, like you said, is a little keyed up. There's a lot on the line. Season's on the line. Seniors, for one of these teams, that'll be their last match. This ball is going to go to the outside. Lefty swing. And both our libero and our middle back players just let the ball go. That's what I call the uh, Olay defense. <laughs> you call that husband and wife, right? You I'm take it. Yours. You take it. I take it. Nobody takes it. We can't let that happen. We got to show real leadership on defense from the get-go. Alamo Heights to serve. Handled by Taylor Tomlin. It's going to go to Natalie Arnold. That ball's down. Point Tigers. It was a great pass. And really let us run a nice and system ball to the middle. Keeping spring so far executing their offense very well. So Taylor Chomlin has come out of the game. Natalie Arnold will go back to serve. Gripping Springs is the visiting team. This ball is going to be handled over, set pass. Pushed down by Mackenzie Plante, Point Tigers. Again, passing a little nervous right now for Alamo Heights. Coach is telling her players to get their platforms to the ball. For those Tigers who don't know, this team was, uh, went to the finals last year, so they had the experience over Alamo. This ball is out of system, lefty swinging out of bounds, no touch, Point Tigers. Coach for Alamo Heights is looking around, going to make some adjustments, and serve receive. Tigers take a nice 6-2 lead. Natalie Arnold to serve, right to the corner and in! Ace to the coffin corner, point Tigers. For those that were listening last week, we talked about the service errors with the screen has that under control so far. So Tigers take a nice 7-2 lead, and we have our first timeout. And set number one for Alamo Heights. So, you know, it, it's it's going to happen, right? Somebody's going to get nerves. It's a game of chicken in the beginning. Somebody's going to blink. So, there's a lot of volleyball left to play in set number one. The team that settles down the fastest and maintains that is probably going to win. So volleyball is a game about adjustments, and it's a game about momentum. And it's just understanding that there will be shifts and momentum swings. And it's going to be who's going to hold that energy. And details, details, details. One of, the key the game, one of the keys of the game for me is our middles versus their middles. Got probably four Division One players playing middle out there. And who can win that match? So the middle matchup is something we're definitely going to watch. Maddie Lund is in the game right now. Natalie Arnold's still serving. This ball is in system. We're going to have to go to the outside. Handled and dug up. Ryan Frontera chases it down. Ava Williamson's just going to roll shot the ball right on the line. Right on the oh, the official changed it. She said that the ball was out. The line judge called it in. So that will be point mules. I mean, he immediately called it in. She immediately called it out. We'll see what happens. Mule is back to serve. This ball is in system. It's going to be to Mackenzie Plante. This ball is a net violation on number nine for the Mules. Point Tigers, subs coming. That ball must have been in because you know the ball don't lie. The ball does not lie. Jason Sarton and I are real big um, proponents of the ball does not lie philosophy. And if you don't know what that is, if you get a bad call and then the other team serves it out of bounds or in the net, then you know you were right. Ryan Allison is going to come in as a sub and serve that ball into the net. Point Alamo Heights. So right now on the court for the Tigers, we have Ryan Allison and Annabelle Crowder as opposites. Mackenzie Plante and Ella Baldwin as opposites. 
and Maddie London Taylor Chomlin is opposites and Alamo Heights to serve. This ball is going to be out of system. Ryan Allison's having to run for it. And, and just like that, it's a three-point game. You know, it's all about tightening your core, and it's all about getting your platform there and not taking anything for granted. This ball is going to have to be bump set outside. Annabelle Crowder swings, finds the middle back court wide open. Point Tigers. Annabelle caught their center trying to block right there. So she's probably 5'5. Five, five. So Annabelle Crowder just, just that was location, right? That's a real estate joke, as, as Chuck would say. Location, location, location. So Carly Sledge is back in the game as outside hitter. Mackenzie Plante back to serve. That's a short serve. That ball is going to be an ace for Mackenzie Plante. Point Tigers. Tigers responding well to that mini run by Alamo. So there's a serving plan. Mackenzie Plante used to have this voracious jump serve. She's backed off of that and is going for location serves. Another short serve out of system. It's going to have to go to the back row. Roll shot handled by Ryan Allison. Taylor Chalman bump sets to. That's going to be a tip ball out of bounds. That's two tipped balls out of bounds for the Tigers. And those are those details that we're talking about. Alamo Heights back to serve. Handled by Taylor Chomlin and System. It's going to go to Maddie Lund. Tip off the block and down. Point Tigers. Well, we got lucky on that one. I think Alamo gave up on that ball. It's shocked to see that. It's lucky that uh, our lovely Maddie Lund has go-go gadget arms because that ball was was set a little off the net and a little too high, but she reached for it. Taylor Chomlin to serve. This ball is in system. It's going to go outside, off the block, handled. It's going to get bumped up. It's going to have to go back row. Everybody's swinging for it. Blocked, handled. Ryan Allison's going to go back. This is going to be tipped, handled. It's going to go back row. It's going to be bump set to the outside. Roll shot, down. That's a point for Alamo Heights. So Alamo Heights will go back to serve. Tigers lead 11 to 7. Mackenzie Plante in system, going outside to Carly Sledge. This ball is handled, and nobody's looking at the ball, and nobody knows who it's supposed to be. So we have subs coming in right now. We have Ryan Frontera will come in with Ava Williamson. Ryan Frontier, this will be her first serve of the night. This is typically a lineup where we score points and go on a run. Ryan Frontier back to serve. This ball is going to be out of system. Eight for Ryan Frontier. It's an ace for Ryan Frontier. They're making an adjustment on serve receive. They're stacking their they're stacking their hitters the other way. No libero win currently for Alamo Heights. Ryan Frontera to serve. This ball is going to be handled in system going to the middle. No block put up. And subs coming. That's one of those uh, battle in the middle plays where I think the winner of those might have the best shot of winning the match. So we got to get hands up across the net. Got to penetrate to the other side. Mick Haley, coach for the University of Texas, an Olympic coach, often said, why are we blocking on the other side of the net? Back row to Mackenzie Plante. This ball is over. Again, defensively details not so great for Alma Heights right now. Great tip by Carly Swiss. She didn't try and overpower that happy birthday. She just swiped it to the right. They couldn't handle it. So Carly Sledge to serve. This ball is out of system. It's going to be bumped up and handled. Tipped by Ryan Frontera. Not sure why we didn't get that ball. I think because she was seeing the ball coming to the inside. And she was reading inside and then it kind of came off her hand to the outside. And that left hand was an advantage right there. Yep. Lefty for Alamo Heights. 
Alamo Heights to serve. This is in system. Ryan Frontier and McKenzie Plante. Point Tigers. The Yogi makes the ball. That's the ball to McKenzie. It's that quick zip set right in the seam. Yep, yep. Right there in the gap between. A rip, a go, a rip, a hut, a go, a shoot, whatever you're going to call it. Everybody calls it something different. Natalie Arnold to serve. This ball's out of system. It's going to go back to the lefty. Blocked. Straight down. That's a massive 8-11 block. And timeout number two taken by, Sege by Alamo Heights. This is the Tiger team we've been waiting to see for about three matches. I would say this is the Tiger team that we've been waiting to see since Canyon. But, you know, it's all on the line. I know that the girls had a big meeting today where they talked through things and they talked about their goals. I think they've been tired of playing with some sort of monkey on their back and, you know, maybe they've shaken it off. They're, they're playing well right now. They're relying on each other as teammates, which is nice to see. Yeah, it's, it's time to own that you're the favorite and then you got to come out and play with that target on your back. It looks like they're doing that so far. So again, I'm going to go with the details right now. We've got two balls that we've tipped out of bounds. We've had a defensive ball that we did not pick up. We had a tip that they tipped to us that was in off that lefty. And like you've said, you got to watch that lefty hand. And one serve in the net. Otherwise, we might be talking about a 20 to 5 first set right now. So lots of volleyball left to play in set number one. I see that. Look at you good eyes, Jason Certain. Natalie Arnold to serve after that timeout. This ball is going to be in system. It's going to go to the outside. It's going to have to be out of bounds, and that's Point Tigers. I like the body language of the Tigers on the court right now. The body language says, hey, do your job, right? Know your job, do your job. Natalie Arnold to serve. This ball is in system. It's going to have to go outside. It's going to be an out of bounds swing. No touch. Point Tigers. Number six for Alamo, probably their best player, certainly the highest ceiling, really struggling right now. That's three swings out of bounds for her. So again, it's all about momentum changes, right? Right now the Tigers are wanting to keep this momentum to go into set number two. That ball was struck by Natalie Arnold and out of bounds. Point Alamo. I feel like I'm in club, Alamo. <laughs> so one of the biggest clubs in the San Antonio Metroplex is Alamo Volleyball. I'm sure many of these girls from Alamo Heights. I'm sure they do. Alamo Heights to serve. Handled in system. Ryan Frontier is going to have to push it back to Ava Williamson. That ball is going to be a point for the Tigers. Off the hands of number three for Alamo Heights. Subs coming. Ryan Allison and Annabelle Crowder will be coming into the match. One of the keys in big matches like this is when players who don't get a ton of sets make do with the ones they do get, and Ava did that right there. So right now on our front row, we have Annabelle Crowder, Mackenzie Plante, and Maddie Lund. Ryan Allison missed her first serve. Let's see what she does here. This ball is going to be a good ball and an ace for Ryan Allison. Make up for her first serving error. Not that even. You know, a positive percentage is good. Yes. Ryan Allison, back to serve. This ball is handled in system. It's going to have to go back to the lefty. He's going to be tipped down the line. Taylor Chomlin was caught running. You got to hold your defense and wait to see where it goes. She saw a tip. She saw, so she's reading the ball. She saw a short read defense, and she just pushed it over. She just took one step too soon. I, I, like, that, I like that she's looking. Coaches talk about that eye sequence, but it's so hard to do in live action. Alamo Heights to serve. This ball is in system. Ryan Allison's going to get it back to McKenzie Plante. He's going to tip it. It's going to be in system to the outside hitter. Roll shot handled by Ryan Allison. Maddie Lund cannot handle the ball coming off the net point, Alamo Heights. So I think that's the first time at Alamo, a second time Alamo Heights has even gotten a little run, a little mini run. Alamo Heights to serve. This ball is out of system. Ryan Allison's going to have to bump it up to McKenzie Plante. He's just going to roll shot it in. This ball is going to be out of system. Bump to the back row. 
three ball coming. Ella Baldwin to Maddie Lund. For the Tigers. Yep, yep. Number 10 in the net. We got Carly Sledge coming back in. Mackenzie Plante back to serve. Three kills for our middle and one for theirs and one block. Also probably means uh, is why we're up 21-12. Mackenzie Plante on a short serve. This ball is going to be... Oh, that could have been a double. Touch handled by Mackenzie Plante. Bump set out to Carly Sledge, who's just going to throw the block. She's just going to see high hands and go right off the block point Tigers. Such a smart play by Ryan Allison. Just a bump set that, and then for Carly to go high hands, like you said. Don't try and do too much with it, with a 22-12 lead. So the setter for Alamo Heights is front row. She pulled off to block. They only put a single block up on that ball. Probably not a great idea with Carly Sledge, and that'll be an ace for Mackenzie Plante, Point Tigers. So if you can hear me at home, I'm hoping that you can hear when Jason Certain and I pass the microphone back and forth. If you can, I would, I would love a text from any of our lovies to let us know if you can hear both of our voices. Alamo Heights back to serve, 13 to 23. That's in system. It's going to go to Maddie Lund, off the block, handled. It's going to go back on a slide, blocked, handled. Setter's going to put that one right into the... That's going to be handled again. Maddie Lund passing it to Ryan Allison. It's going to go back to Carly Sledge. He's going to roll shot it out of bounds. So it's scrappy defense there by Alamo Heights. Alamo Heights back to serve. Out of system. It's going to be handled by the libero, Taylor Chomlin. Carly Sledge is going to roll shot this ball. It's going to roll. It's going to be a double. And pushed out of bounds, Point Tigers. So now we have set point number one for the Tigers in set number one. Really tough to run a 5-1 with a 5-5 five, five setter. Yeah, I'm not sure. They don't normally do this. They had another setter at war in warm-up, but she's not in. This ball is out of system. It's going to go to the outside. It's going to be dug up and over. Handle. Pushed to the outside, way off the net. Oh, Ryan Allison off her right arm. Point Alamo Heights. Set point number one, still on the books for the Tigers. Leading 24 to 15. This ball is going to be handled out of system. Carly Sledge is going to get another crack at it into the net, bottom of the net. Point Alamo Heights. So this is the momentum shift, right? So, so now Coach Kane is taking a timeout. As a coach and as a player, I have been ahead 16-24 and lost, and I've been behind 16-24 and won. So you cannot take anything for granted. Well, and the reality is, Rip's probably going to win this first set, but you don't want Alamo to get any more confidence or momentum, like you said. You want to, you know, have that killer instinct to put him away, execute him one time in this set. So here we are coming back out of this timeout. Coach Kane took a little, little time to regroup his players. Great timeout by Coach Kane. So one of the greatest coaches I've ever worked with is Carrie Papinga of St. Stephen's. And Carrie Papinga used to take timeouts just like this. She said, you know what? We want to control the energy. We want to control the flow. We want to control our own bodies and our own and, and our own dynamic. Alamo Heights to serve. Mackenzie Plante in system. It's going to go out again. Natalie Arnold hits the ball. Eight feet out of bounds, turning her hips. Point Alamo Heights. Did not work out, but I love the aggressiveness of the Tigers there. I love Natalie Arnold on the outside, but we can't swing eight feet out of bounds. That's in the net for set number one. Tigers win set number one, 25-17. We'll have a side change right now. And we'll have a, we'll have... 
three minutes between our sets, and we'll be back. change welcome back to set number two dripping springs tigers taking on alamo heights at seguin high school in this regional quarterfinal action as i was telling you at this moment there are 32 teams left in district 5a district 5a is broken up into four different divisions one two three and four regions four different regions uh, we are in region three we are in region three so currently, right now, Corpus Christi, the Valley. Yep. Say. Some North Austin schools. Yep. So currently, right now, going on, we have Canyon, um, who won first place in our district. Canyon is taking on uh, first place from District 26, 5A, which is Rouse yeah. High School. So that's a big matchup that's going on right now. Of course, we're taking on Alamo Heights. Rouse and Canyon are both ranked in the top six, I believe, in uh, the state of Texas. And the Tigers are currently ranked eighth. Eight. Eight. Yep. So lots of lots of good powerhouse 5A volleyball being played here tonight. So again, at the end of tonight, we'll have 16 teams left. And for one of these teams, that will be the last match for their seniors, which is always a, you know, it's always a big deal. All right. So here we are at the start of set number two on the court for the Tigers. Will be Ryan Frontera and Ava Williamson as our right sides. Mackenzie Plante and Carly Sledge as our outside hitters. Natalie Arnold and Maddie Lund as our middles and Taylor Chomblin as our libero. We are now at the set of start number two and our official signals serve. Ryan Frontera back to serve. This ball is off the block. Point Tigers. It's a great serve that set that up by Ryan Frontera to get them out of system. Ryan Frontera back to serve. Gets a signal from Coach Kane. This ball is going to be handled out of system. It's going to have to go back. Dug up by Mackenzie Plante. Handled. Taylor Chomlin with the roll shot. It's in system to the middle. Handled by Taylor Chomlin to Natalie Arnold. That ball's going to drop in bounds, but net. It's a net violation by Alamo Heights. Point Tigers. Ryan Frontera continuing to serve. This ball is going to be out of system and have to go back. Roll shot, but into the net. Point Tigers. That what? They can't really hear me, but that's Well, just grab the mic. 
Ryan Frontera back to serve. Into the net, and Ryan Frontera's kicking herself. Point Alamo Heights. Ryan Frontera is signaling in her jersey what she wants everybody to run. I wish I knew, I wish I knew what to call it. That's going to be in system ball. It's going to go back as a slide. For now, we'll run it off the hands of the block for Alamo Heights. Point Tigers. We haven't seen slides very often. Well, that's another point for the middles, that key matchup I was talking about. Carly Sledge back to serve. This ball is going to be handled in system. It's going to go backside to the lefty. Block straight down. Point Tigers. Last match, number six. Really ate our launch, and tonight we are all over her. Not letting her get started. So, like, I, I, I like the rhythm right now. This ball is going to also be in system. It's going to go back. Tipped. Handled. Mackenzie Plante with the roll shot. It's going to go outside. Off the block, Carly Sledge tried to get a hand on it. Point Alamo Heights. So subs coming. Alan Baldwin checking in for Carly Sledge. Alamo Heights to serve. That's going to be a short serve into the net. Point Tigers. She's got some interesting footwork on that serve, don't you think? Yes, she brings the uh, opposite foot you coach forward first, so it looks really awkward. I feel like she's goofy footed. Natalie Arnold to serve. This ball is going to land in bounds. Point Tigers. Well, the one thing I can say about our up official is she's not really looking at these line judges. She's making her own calls, um, which I like. I like that she's got her eye on the ball and following the ball. And I like that our down ref is watching the net. This ball is going to be handled in system to the middle. That's a nice ball by Alamo Heights middle, number six. I believe that's her first kill of the match. Very strong player. SMU. You know, SMU and TCU have got to have some pretty good teams as much kids as they're taking out of San Antonio. Alamo Heights to serve by Mackenzie Plante. This is going to have to go back row to Ava Williamson. Down the line, handled. It's going to go middle tip. Ryan Frontier is going to handle that. Bumps it back to Mackenzie Plante, who swings, hits the antenna. Bumps it just a little bit too far outside the antenna. For, for Mackenzie Plante to cut that ball back in bounds. Tigers still lead, 7-4. Alamo Heights to serve. In system. Back to Abe Williamson. Inbounds, point Tigers. See, I like that she's swinging, and I like that she's watching the ball. That's one of those plays where I talk about gravity. Mackenzie Plante creates gravity. The other team is cheating her way. She backs at the right side and she's got a wide open swing. Ryan Allison to serve. This ball is in system. We're going middle. That ball's no block, no hands, no defense. Point Alamo Heights. So that's two middle swings that they've set. Got to shut that down. Alamo Heights back to serve. Tigers lead 8-5. In system, back on the slide. Mackenzie Plante, defying gravity on the backside. Yep, and that's where Alamo's offense creates more defense. I'm not sure who was blocking there, but she was a non-factor. Carly Sledge checking back in. Mackenzie Plante will be back to serve. This ball is in system. We're going slide. Off the block, handled. Ah! Ryan Allison on defense. Can't handle that ball on the slide. Point Mules. Tigers lead, 9-6. 
That ball is out. Point Tigers. Middle's coming back in. Natalie Arnold back in. Maddie Lund has gone out. Taylor Tomlin will serve for the Tigers. I don't think either coach is super happy with the start. Alamo probably wanted to come out and get a lead. And Coach Kane wanted us to stay focused and jump on them. Starting to get there a little bit. So that's an ace for Taylor Tomlin. But again, you thought that ball was going down, but they got hands underneath it. This Alamo hikes, you know, defense, they don't quit on the ball. Taylor Chomlin to serve. This ball is going to be really close and dumped, handled, bumped up. That's a roll shot. It's going to be handled by Natalie Arnold. And that, my friends, is a kill. Her arm is so fast. Her arm is fast. Her mechanics are fast. Her twitch on her hips. She has got a quick twitch rotate that is just unheard of. And why she very rarely gets blocked straight down. Taylor Chomlin to serve. This ball is in system. It's going middle. Out of bounds. No touch. Point Tigers. Back, back to Natalie. She physically looks like an outside, but she's such an effective middle at this level. That's a timeout taken by Alamo Heights. Tigers lead 13 to 6. Coach Page, can you uh, go back to the last time we played them? What were the scores in the sets and how far did we go? So the last time we played them, we won 25-23, 26-24, lost. It was ugly, like 15-25. And then we lost 25-23, and then we lost 15-13. 13-15. Uh, we just heard a big cheer from the Dripping Springs bench. I think Ryan Frontera just got her 1,000th assist. Congratulations to Ryan Frontera. So I totally missed that right there. <laughs> I'm a terrible mother. But yes, they had told us at the last playoff game uh, that Ryan was about 10 sets away from getting her 1,000th assist. So it's a huge club to join the 1,000 assist club. Congratulations, my lovely daughter, Ryan Frontera. Especially running a 6-2. Taylor Chomlin serves this ball. It's going to go back to the right side, off the block. Oh, and it goes over, and everybody's looking. <laughs> we call that a free ball kill. <laughs> that is the free ball kill chant across the land, friends. I promise you, Kim Certain did the. <laughs> Love you, Kim Certain. Don't know where you are. Taylor Chomlin continuing to serve. This ball is in system, going middle tipping. Handled by Ryan Allison. Bumped up to the right side. Annabelle Crowder swinging. Off the block, handled. This ball is out of system. It's going to go back row. It's going to be handled by Ryan Allison. Taylor Chomlin is going to bump set it. Carly Sledge is going to roll shot it. Handled. It'll go back row to Alamo Heights. Handled again by Ryan Allison. Bump set up again. Kinsey Puente is just going to roll shot it out of bounds. And she is irritated with herself. She's like, what was that? that? That ball was at her or behind her, so she didn't get to approach very much. She just pulled it left. Coach Kane is telling his players, this ball, first ball pass, side out, first ball. Not first ball. That is definitely a husband and wife combination right there, and Michael Kane's going to take a timeout. So again, just a little bit about uh, number 13, Ryan Frontera, just getting her 1,000th assist. You heard Jason Certain say that's hard to do when you run a 6-2, which means Ryan only sets half the time. She has another setter who sets the other half of the time. Um, Ryan has been on varsity for only two years. So to get 1,000 assists in two years, that's impressive. Especially when one of those years was a COVID year. <laughs> No tournaments. Crowd getting into it. Let's go Tigers. Let's go Tigers. Let's go Tigers. Let's go Tigers. 
And here we are, Alamo Heights back to serve. This is beautiful in system. It's gonna oh, she's gonna get a double on that. So that's our first double for the Tigers. That's our second double overall. Right now is when we gotta clean up the details. In system. Black. And Alamo Heights pulls within four and gains the momentum game. So right now we gotta go outside. We gotta get a good pass. We don't need to be cute or clever. This ball is out of system. We're gonna have to go outside. Touch off the block. Handled. Bumped up. Back row. Handled. Mackenzie Plante bumps it up to Annabelle Crowder. Who swings and a lands in bounds? Thank God. <laughs> we have subs coming for the Tigers. Ryan Frontier and Ava Williamson checking back in. Mackenzie Plante giving the ball to Ryan Frontier to serve. Beautiful hand contact ball for the Tigers. Got them over the nice little run, but the Tigers responding. So what you want to do is you want to strike the ball with your hand where your hand creates no movement on the ball. So the ball just kind of floats and drops. And this one's also going to be bumped over. It's going to be a free ball. Handled. Going back to outside to Carly Sledge. Blocked straight down. You got a 6'4 girl and a 6'2 girl. And Carly Sledge is not six feet. <laughs> so I think Michael wanted her to go right side to Natalie. This ball is going to be handled in system. We're going to go middle to Ava Williamson. This ball is handled. Bump set up to the right side. Who's just going to have to swing. Handled. Ryan Frontier is going to go to Mackenzie Plante. That ball is going to be handled inbounds. Point Tigers. I like the I like the push. McKenzie last year was super effective with that. This year, not as much, but that right there was an excellent strike. Probably mostly because teams started game planning for her back row attack. So this ball is not going to be in system. It's going to have to go to the right side, handled by Ryan Frontera. Taylor Chomlin's going to bump. Oh! Taylor Chomlin bumps up his ball into the antenna. She does that a lot. We do not get good bump sets from our libero. I wish our libero would use her hands <laughs> and set the ball. Alamo Heights back to serve. Tigers have a 17 to 12 lead. Take nothing for granted. Handled by Mackenzie Plante. It's gonna go to Natalie. Oh. So we're trying to get too clever. Right, set what you can see. I didn't see a lot of spin on that ball, but it did look a little funky. Well, her feet got there, and so I think she was just watching her feet. I can't see. This ball is in system. We're going to go. Ball's going to be handled. We're chasing it down. We're going to get a free ball to Ava Williamson, Natalie Arnold, and then Mackenzie Plante. That's the ball she likes. That ball in the gap in the seam where it's just strength. It's just push. Yep. Same block, 6-4, six, 6-2, six, and Mackenzie powers through it. Natalie Arnold back to serve. Ball is out of system. It's going to be a free ball. Setters going. Ella Baldwin. We're going to go back to Maddie Lund. This ball is going to go off the block and over, and that's a point for the Tigers. Natalie Arnold continuing to serve. That's a timeout taken by Alamo Heights. Tigers lead 19-13. first time up. I believe that is the second time out for Alamo Heights. They took one early at like 10 to 6, I believe. This is a good time out for Alamo Heights. So if you are the Alamo Heights coach, what you saying? I am saying let's on a good pass, let's get it back to our middles and we gotta pass better. 
So passing has definitely kind of been an albatross right now for, um, for, for both teams, honestly. But I think we're just winning the battle. If I had to give ourselves a serving percentage right now, I would probably say that we're passing around a 2. Whereas Alma Heights is passing about a 1.3, 1.5. So the middle battle is important, but the serve-receive battle is critical. And as we mentioned before the match, we've only had a couple of serving errors, so I think that's playing a big part into it. We're serving very well tonight. So out of the timeout, yes, that is the second timeout taken by Alamo Heights. Natalie Arnold, let's see how she responds. That ball is going to go over. Maddie Line is going to put the ball down. Point Tigers. If you're the Alamo coach, that's the worst thing that can happen out of a timeout. Set's about to get away from you, and you pass a happy birthday. So the setter for Alamo Heights is back row. And that ball's, oh, it hit, the, it hit her on the way out of bounds. The libero called out, and it hit her. And that is a point to the Tigers. And that should be 21. byproduct of really good serving. Out, 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 and then you can't get out of the way because you face them about three times and they're worried about it. So this ball is in system. Handled by Ella Baldwin to Ryan Frontera. That's a point for the Tigers. Now that could have been a double. <laughs> Great dig by Ella. Ella Baldwin handled that ball like and now coach is telling Natalie Arnold, do not get adrenaline junkied. Just get the ball in. This ball is in system. It's going to go back to the lefty. Touch off the block. Mackenzie Puente had her hand on it, but there was a big gap between Mackenzie Puente's right hand and Maddie Lund's left hand. Alamo Heights back to serve. This ball is out of system, chasing it down. We're going to get a free ball, Ella Baldwin. Nice and high, we're going to go middle, tip. That ball is probably going out of bounds. Claire Martin's going to come in for Taylor Tomlin. I saw that ball out too. I did see that ball out. I think Taylor Tomlin like second-guessed herself like three times. Alamo Heights continuing to serve. Claire Martin is going to get used. We're going to go backside. We're going to roll shot. Ball's down. In the, that was not pretty, but we are not proud. It's a great play by Claire Martin. She comes into a big match. Loud crowd hasn't seen the court yet and passes a three, I think it was. You know, but Claire Martin's an old time at this, right? She's an old hand. Claire Martin's been playing volleyball since she was eight years old. She's been in big, huge game matches, big, huge pressure situation. This is just another day at work for, for Clara Martin. Ryan Allison to serve. This is going to be a free ball. Almost not handled. It's going to go to Maddie Lund. And set point number one is coming. Point Tigers. Tigers lead 24 to 15. Ryan Allison to serve. This ball is out of system. It's going to have to go outside. It's going to off the net roll shot. Out of bounds, outside the antenna. Tigers take set number two. 25-15. We'll come back in about two minutes.
Uh, we're still working on the problem, guys. We're going to take a timeout here. Tigers are in taking a timeout. Yes, Tigers! Am I good? All right. So Tiger Nation, yes, we've got it. We've got audio back. So I'm sure that you've been watching on the camera. We haven't had much to say, except for that the Tigers are just taking care of business. They're handling the details, and the devil is in the details. So the Al Alma Heights coach is taking a timeout. She's trying to settle her players down right now. But the Tigers are leading 8-2. to two. On the court for the Tigers, Ryan Frontera, Ella Baldwin, Mackenzie Plante, Maddie Lynn, who just had three massive points right there, and Ava Williamson. Natalie Arnold is still serving. Great heads up play by Maddie Lund on that tip. Up on two, she went over and down for the point. So out of the timeout. Alma Heights has one timeout left. Coach Kane has both. Natalie Arnold to serve. Ryan Frontera running her team. This ball is out of system. Mackenzie Plante. Net violation by Alma Heights. Point Tigers. Second time coach from Alamo calls a timeout. Happy birthday is the result. Natalie Arnold back to serve. Coach is just telling her keep the ball in play. This ball is going to be coming back in as a free ball. That ball's in. Ella Baldwin handles it. To Ryan Frontera, back to Ava Williamson. And that's going to go off the hands of the block. Point Tigers. Tigers lead. Shouldn't that be 11? Tigers lead 10 to 2. Natalie Arnold. Ball is oh out of bounds. A ball. I thought it might drop there for a second. It moved. Alamo Heights to serve. Taylor Chomlin, Ella Baldwin, Mackenzie Plante and serve receive. This ball is gonna be in system. Ryan Frontier is gonna go back to Ava Williamson. This ball is handled. It's going to go to the right side, but it's tough. Handled. Oh, that's going to be a double. If she'd bump set that one, we might have gotten it. Not sure what happened right there. Cue that play. It's number six. Still didn't get it. Great swing on that. We're still holding her down. Four to ten. Alma Heights to serve. This ball is out of system. Ryan Frontera is going to have to bump set it out to Mackenzie Plante, who swings, handled. It's going to go outside. Roll shot, handled. Dunked. And everybody's standing around watching. Into the net. Point Tigers. It's actually a good ball by Ryan Frontera just because she's short, and she can kind of jump and dunk the ball. Um, and the center got her hands on it. And the coach from Alamo plays her middles all the way around. Yes. Well, Ryan Allison to serve. This ball is going to be in system. It's going to go to the middle. He's going to throw it. It's going to be bump set up to Mackenzie Plante on the right side. Roll shot in. It's going to be tight. It's going to be blocked. And... That is a nice block by Maddie Lund as a solo block. Point Tigers. Ryan Allison continuing to serve. Tigers lead 12 to 4 in set number 3. That ball is going to be out of system. It's going to be a free ball. Handled by Taylor Chomlin to Ryan Allison. Out to Annabelle Crowder. Blocked. Tipped. Handled. Bump set over to Mackenzie Plante, who's just going to roll and whack it out of bounds. <laughs> and Michael Kane is just shaking his head because, again, those are the detailed points. Give yourself an opportunity to play defense. Have them execute their offense against us. Keep the ball in play. Make them make a play. 
Again, my favorite expression, it is good. Better the ball. Alamo Heights to serve. In system. Mackenzie Plante. That's going to go off the hands of the block of Alamo Heights. Point Tigers. Carly Sledge checking in on the front row. The only time it is not good is if they're just shoving the ball down your throat every time. You just got to stay aggressive and be the, be the first contact. But that's not the case tonight. We got to keep it in. Mackenzie Plante to serve. This ball is in system. It's going to go to the outside hitter who's going to hit the antenna. There's no way with the angle it could be anything else other than that. Point Tigers. Coach is going to take timeout number two. You know, I have something to say. I'm going to wait till we get more points, and then I'm going to say it. I've been in the Alamo coach's position. You know you have a good team, and then you show up, and it's just an avalanche. There's not a lot she could do right now. I think the last two sets, she's burned both timeouts before we've been to 15 points because her team is struggling, trying to make something happen. So coming out of the timeout, Mackenzie Plante will be serving. Tigers lead 14 to five. Coach for Dripping Springs is on the court and she needs to get off before we get a yellow card. And the chant has been taken up of Let's Go Tigers. Let's Go Tigers. Let's go Tigers! The Alamo coach used every single second of that timeout, as she should. Mackenzie Plante back to serve. Short serve, in system, outside, off the hands of the block, handled to Maddie Lund, blocked. So the ball never cleared the tape. The ball, the ball never got above the tape. So it's not so much as a the net blocker. <laughs> Alamo Heights back to serve. 6-14. Need a side out. This ball is going to go over. Happy birthday. Well, Taylor Chomlin was having a struggle right now, and I'm going to bet that he is going to sit there and put in Clara Martin. One of those big swings that can be a momentum shifter. It's kind of like a dunk in basketball. Gets everybody fired up. We'll see what happens. So here we have Alamo Heights back to serve. In system. Jumped. Maddie Lund blocked again. The ball is set too low and it's in serve receive. And as a coach, we don't like to set a middle of one in serve receive because everybody's in base on the other side and don't camped out. They don't, have to move. Right. they don't have to move. And that's a big block on the other side of the net. This ball is going to be in system. We're going to go back. Annabelle Crowder off the hands of the block point Tigers. It's a great decision. It's a great back set. Middle switches. Natalie Arnold comes in. Maddie Lund goes out. Taylor Chomlin back to serve. And Annabelle Crowder just saw high hands. You just see high hands and swing off the block. Taylor Chomlin to serve. This ball is over. Carly Sledge finds the back corner of Point Tigers. So all the momentum Alamo, High, Alamo Heights had is just gone all of a sudden on a bad pass. Taylor Chomlin back to serve. This ball is running. It's going to have to just be a swing by the outside blocked. Handled by Carly Sledge. We're going to go outside to Carly Sledge. And that's a point for the Tigers. Carly Sledge, hammer! Swinging down the outside line. That's a great set by Ryan Ellison. Clears out the blockers. The defense is completely out of transition. They're hiding their libero. One more point, I'm going to tell you what I wanted to say. This ball is in system. It's going to have to go outside. Handled by Taylor Chomlin, who took beautiful position. 
Mackenzie Plante handled. It's going to go have to go some weird thing handled by Ryan Allison. Bump set to Mackenzie Plante with the roll shot. Handled, and this is going to be tight. It's going to be blocked. In, oh, out of bounds. Blocked out of bounds, Point Alamo Heights. Coach Green really wanted that when he was jumping on the sideline. Good block. Alamo Heights back to serve. 9-17. And we have a delay of game for Alamo Heights. The coach has been given a yellow card as a delay of game warning. What happened, coach? I didn't see why she got the subs. She brought subs into the substitution zone, and then she did not want them. She pulled them back and took a, took a delay of game. Doesn't call, that ball's going out of bounds. No! When it hits the line judge's feet, it is out of bounds. See, I like her. She is watching the ball. We got subs coming. Out of bounds. That should be 18. That should be 10-18. That should be a score. That is a score issue. Score. Coach Kane has got it. We're on the score right now. No, score, 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 score. That's not the right score. It, there it is, okay. there it is, there it is. This ball is out of system. Tipped. Yes! Ava Williamson with the dub ball, Point Tigers. Want to welcome Riley Certain to the match. That should be 19 to nine. Riley Certain, Riley Jane. Checking in. Ryan Frontera back to serve. Ball's going to go out of system. Passed up by Taylor Chalmlin. It's going to go to Mackenzie Plante. Off the block. Touch off the block. No touch. Dude, I swear I saw a touch. Ten to nineteen. Alamo Heights to serve. Ball is in system. Back to Natalie Allen, who's going to have this ball is handled. Oh no! The middle for Alamo Heights did not know where the ball was. Point Tigers. Riley Certain back to serve. Mackenzie Plante on the front row. This ball is going to be in system. It's going to go middle. Riley running, Riley running. Ryan Frontera following, <laughs> point to Alamo Heights. Subs coming. I'm going to wait to say what I want to say, but I can't do it now. Alamo Heights to serve, 11 to 20. Ella Baldwin chasing. Going to get a free ball out of it. It's going to be bump set outside. Blocked and down, Point Alamo Heights. Call a timeout if they get this point. Alamo Heights to serve, 12-20. Passing for the Tigers, Ella Baldwin, Taylor Chomlin, Mackenzie Plante. It's in system, it's going to go out to Mackenzie Plante. That's a cut shot, Point Tigers. That's a great ball. Mills coming in, Natalie Arnold to serve, Maddie Lund checking in. Set was a little wide, McKenzie, just her strength allows that cut shot to take place. 21-12 Tigers. The ball's out of system. It's going to go back row. Handled by Ryan Frontera, dug up. McKenzie Plante with the roll shot, saw high hands. Setter is going to try to stay out of the net. And that's just going to be off a soft block. I mean, it was just a roll shot off high hands, but soft. Point Alamo Heights, 13-21. Alamo Heights serving. Handle, McKenzie Plante, back to Ava Williamson. Blocked, out of bounds, but over. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Horn Tigers. That's why it is good. It is good. It is good. Ryan Allison to serve. 22 to 13. This ball is in system. It's going to go back to the lefty. Nobody home. Point, Alamo Heights. We've either relaxed or she's figured something out, but we controlled that the first two and a half sets. Alamo Heights to serve, 14-22. ball is... It's not a great pass. Claire Martin's going to go in right now for Taylor Chomlin. Fifteen twenty-two, Alamo Heights serving. It's in system. Bump set outside. Annabelle Crowder off the hands of the block. Point Tigers. Riley Certain coming on on the outside. Great swing by Annabelle Crowder. LB Crowder's grandparents. She'll be very happy. Probably watching at home. Looking at A.B. Crowder's mom and dad right now. They're pretty happy. Mackenzie Plante back to serve. 23-15. This ball is in system. We're going right side. Point Alamo Heights. That's a well-struck ball by that setter. Alamo Heights to serve. 16-23. Handled. Back. Don't know what that was. Oh my God! A.B. Crowder! A.B. Crowder! A.B. Crowder on the cut shot! And it is match point number one! Match point number one! Taylor Chomlin will serve. The short serve, it's over. Oh, Riley Certain had the opportunity for match points and a happy birthday. And I call that bad parenting by Jason Certain. Bad parenting. Alamo Heights to serve, 17-24. Good pass. Out to Riley Certain. Blocked. Eighteen twenty-four, Alamo Heights. Riley Jane Certain again. Michael Kay needs to take a timeout. Tigers take a timeout. Nineteen twenty-four. And that is what we call a pressure situation. That's a lot of pressure to put on a freshman. She passed the ball well, but she didn't execute the swing, and then she messed the home front. Happy birthday. She's good. There we go. 30 seconds left in the timeout. Tigers lead 24-19. Coach Woods is deciding what they're going to run. We've got Natalie Arnold who could swing on the outside. we got Annabelle Crowder on the right side. Mackenzie Plante in the back row. Riley Certain outside hitter. Alamo Heights to serve. Out of the timeout. In system. Going back. Natalie Arnold off the block. Handled. It's going to go outside. Tipped. Handled. Right, Allison goes. That's a double. 20-24. We just need to keep this simple. This ball is out of system. It's going to be bumped up. Just a little roll shot. Out of bounds. 
Michael Kane is going to put Carly Sledge back in the match. 21-24. Tigers are re very relaxed right now. And Michael Kane takes his second timeout. I wish the crowd would get into this a little bit. Let's go, Tigers. Alma Heights back to serve, 21-24. In system, outside, Carly Sledge blocked. It's over, in system, middle, tap, blocked. In system, dumped, handled, up. Handled, up, free ball, out of bounds. Point Alamo Heights. Starting to get a little nervous here, Jason Certain. In system, handled. 23-24. Tigers gotta do something else. Or we're going to a tie game right now. It's in system. Outside, Natalie handled, insist, handled, bump set, handled, outside, low shot, handled, outside, tip, handled, bump set, swinging, down, <laughs> 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 quarterfinal match, which will happen in Northside San Antonio this Friday and Saturday in the regional tournament. So long, Dripping Springs Tigers!